Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. Um, I love you, I think, and I truly appreciate you guys. Um, welcome, 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 welcome new subscribers. Guys, I'm almost at that 10,000 subscribers. When I hit that 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing free readings the whole a whole week, okay? Showing my appreciation to you guys because I really do appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. I couldn't have did this by myself. Absolutely not, okay? So I truly, truly appreciate you guys believing in me, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we are doing a general reading for Taurus. This is for November, the first week of November, 2021. Um, it is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, remember, it's a general reading, okay? So don't take anything personal, right? Taurus, I've already shuffled sage paid over your cards. Let's get you some overall energies. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is going on with Taurus? What is going on with Taurus? I see that you guys are using your intuition here. Um, there could be something that you don't know as of yet, but there is something going on. There's something going on here. Um, what you got for Taurus? Give me some overall energies for Taurus. So this one just flew. The Nine of Pentacles. I mean, the Nine of Wands. This is, you've been through something here. And you, but you're not giving up. You're not giving up on something. You're very determined to move forward. You're very determined to move forward here and let some burdens go. Something is kind of burdening you. This is resting and reconsidering something. Um, what else we got for Taurus? This is, could be done with a Leo Sagio and Aries. Doesn't have to be just saying. We have the Two of Pentacles. Um. Hmm. This is you getting getting yourself balanced, balancing things out here. But there's something that that you're still willing to fight for here too. And the Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely your energy, Taurus. Very stable, grounded, mature, practical, generous, happy. You know, nurture nurture yourself and those you love. Hmm. Could be dealing with an earth sign also. Hmm. The three of wands. You're waiting on your ships to come in. You're waiting on something. This is also wise planning, being optimistic about taking the next steps. Hmm. Ooh, see, the high priestess is at the bottom of the deck. Wow. And the ace of swords. So you've gotten some clarity about something. You've gotten some clarity about something. And you're moving forward towards a new beginning here. Let's get some clarification. Let's get some clarification. So there's something that you're leaving behind, but you're juggling. I mean, you're... Let's see. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Taurus? Okay, you got the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Someone here is still willing to fight for something. We got an apology here and we have an offer, a little small offer. Someone's coming in, you know, very small right now as a page. Higher font at the bottom of the deck. Why is the Page of Cups with the Page of Pentacles? Magician. Eight 
and the Five of Pentacles. So someone here is feeling left out. Someone is feeling left out in the cold. Someone here is either, either you're trying to manifest somebody back or they're trying to manifest you back. And um, I think you're turning your back on something here. We have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you're feeling kind of mentally stuck about this situation. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Five of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone is regretting the way they treated you or maybe you're regretting the way you treated somebody because someone was juggling here the four of swords so i'm feeling you've taken a step back from this situation because it was too much yeah the three of wands again you're turning your back on something that was very i mean it was it was it was wow it was a lot something here was a, was a heavy was heavy on you and you had to take a step back and, and go pray and meditate somebody was possibly secretly you know, juggling possibly. Two of Pentacles. Why is the two? Of, I mean, two of Pentacles. Why is it here? The Four of Wands. This could have been a person. You could have been in a commitment with this person. You could have been married to this person. But you're turning your back on the situation. You're determined to move forward. Yeah. The the, the I mean, the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, you're standing. You know, you're standing on your own. You're very stable. You're very grounded. And you're wanting to leave something behind that, that was just too much. It was too much on you. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Emperor. Definitely someone you could have been married to. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Wow, the Two of Swords and the Two of Cups. Huh. There was a big decision here that somebody had to make, possibly between two people. Somebody was not willing to make a decision, too. So somebody was like, and this is definitely um, a soulmate connection. Someone felt that, that they was on the same page with someone. But somebody was out here doing other things. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here with the Two of Cups and the Two of Swords? The Six of Cups. Definitely a soulmate connection here. But someone could have been dealing with somebody in their past. And now someone wants a second chance with you. Somebody's still willing to fight for something here, Taurus. But somebody is toxic here, okay? There's just, there's some toxicity here. I, I feel you you are you are balanced. But there's someone coming back from your past that wants this with you. Are you trying to decide if you want to go back to this person? Why is the three of wands here? Why is the three of wands here for Taurus? Three of wands for Taurus. We have the eight of cups. No, you're turning your back. You're walking away from somebody in your past. Because it was a lot. This person betrayed you like several times. And the justice... You're definitely getting justice in a situation. The Ten of Cups. It could have been definitely someone you was married to or had a family with. Ten Ten. Yeah, it's it's you're moving on. You're moving on towards your happiness. This is the Sun card. Why is the Three of Wands here? Um, the Seven of Cups. Cause somebody here had a lot of options. They were confused and didn't know who to pick. They may have picked someone over you, Taurus. This could be the secret. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? We have the Six of Wands and the Fool. You're moving on towards, towards you know, success and victory. You're definitely moving on. The Devil is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you were dealing with somebody that had a lot of secrets. Possibly had you in a third party situation. And you just kept your 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 composure about the situation. You may have already knew with the high priestess being here. You knew what was going on. You knew what was going on. And you made a judgment. You made a judgment on this person. Um, let's get an outcome. Give me an outcome here. So yeah, somebody in your past is trying to come back. But you, you're moving on towards your happiness. You got happiness coming in, prosperity, um, even a new person. Maybe you've already started something new, too. Some of y'all could have already started a, a new relationship. Mm-hmm. 
There's a good possibility here. What is... Um, give me an outcome here for Taurus. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is the outcome here for Taurus? What is the outcome here for Taurus? Give me an outcome for Taurus. So, so, yeah, somebody in your past is regretting the way they treated you. The Five of Cups, the Six of Cups. Yeah. They want to reunite with you. A lot of water here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person regrets the way they treated you. They want to reunite with you, but you're turning your back. Yeah, this person is feeling abandoned, left out. But you should be saying, well, hey, you shouldn't have, you, you shouldn't have did what you did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you shouldn't have did it. Mm -mm. You shouldn't have did it. Give me some more information on this situation for Taurus. Perspective. This is the hangman. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Give me some more information. For Taurus, the king of pentacles, yeah. You could have another earth sign coming in here towards you. There's somebody that's, that's going to be wanting to give you something very stable. Somebody's definitely watching you. Or maybe you're watching someone. I see financial security here that's coming in very quickly. I see someone coming in for you. And it's going to be, it's going to be, I see, wow. Ooh, somebody about to come in and sweep you off of your feet, Taurus. Or maybe you're going to be sweeping somebody off of their feet. This is going to be very good for you, too. Mm. Don't be in your head about it because you got the sun card here at the end of the day and the fool. You're definitely moving towards success and victory. You're going to get the victory in a situation, most definitely. You do have a new person coming in towards you that's going to be very, very, very stable. Yeah. Um, give me some more. Give me some advice. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. I be a uh, mm, 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 mm. new abundance is definitely coming in. Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning. You're going to be strengthening some bonds here with somebody too. It's a new person. This is a new person. You're not going, you, you walked away from the past and you let, and you leaving it there. You went to through you went to through much too much. You went through too much with somebody constantly betraying you, constantly stabbing you in the back, and this went on for quite some time. It went on for quite some time, but you're getting the justice. You're definitely getting the justice. You are definitely going to be. Universe is balancing things out for you. You got the Ten of Cups here, the Sun card, the Fool, the Six of Wands. You're going to be confused because you're going to have options. And you got this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, abundance is coming in. Well, give me some more advice. It's time to move. Start something new, Taurus. It's time to start something new. Give me some more um, some more advice for Taurus, guys. Give me some more advice for Taurus. More advice for Taurus. More advice. We have the Hangman and the Solar Plexi. Yeah. This is, this is somebody is at a standstill. I don't think this is your energy. Somebody else is at a standstill because they don't know what else to do. They're just watching you. They're watching you grow. Yeah. Somebody's refusing to see something here. Who had these cards? Someone else had these same cards. Hold on. Wait a minute. Who had these same cards? Who did I do? Leo? Leo? I think, I, I think it was Leo. Yeah, I think it was Leo. Mm -hmm. Somebody here is not giving up on you too, for sure, for sure. Somebody's going to try and just, you know, still want to come back towards you. Mm. Nine of swords, somebody's really sweating. Somebody's really, really sweating. And somebody is moving towards their happiness. Why is a solar plexi here? Why is a solar plexi here? 
dreams. This is somebody wanting you. Like, you are somebody's wish fulfillment. And, and now they're realizing. They're realizing who you are now. They're realizing that they, they really messed up here. Someone really messed up here. Do you have any more advice for Taurus guides? Yep, y'all got love coming in. Look at this. Ooh, look at, look at, look at, look. Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. You're definitely going to be falling in love with your soulmate, Taurus. Definitely. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Oh, wow. You about to be falling in love with somebody. Okay, you. Yeah. And this person is going to be definitely, you guys are going to be on the same page. You guys are going to see eye to eye. Equally yoked, all of that, y'all. Ace of Cups. And this also represents a reconciliation that someone in your past do want a reconciliation with you. But you are moving, you are moving quickly. You're going to be moving quickly. The Eight of Wands, you're moving quickly. This is going to be successful and, and it's going to be a lot of growth with someone new, Taurus. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I love it. Give me one more piece of advice for Taurus. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. Somebody's about to be in love. For real, for real, for real. And it's going to be your wish fulfillment, okay? You're going to be very happy with this person, Taurus. Your love is coming in. It's coming in, Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Look at this. The lovers. Shut the front door. The lovers. Oh, this is going to be your person right here. This is going to be your person. Mm -hmm. The lovers. Could be a Gemini. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know what else to say. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm going to leave it just right here. I mean, it's a done deal. You got to leave this past alone because you got nothing but greatness coming towards you. Prosperity, abundance, love. Okay, Taurus? Yeah. This is what I have for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Love you.